Hey tubes, we've got an interesting one here. Um, this was given to me by, by a pal who was sitting in his daughter's backyard. It, uh, the report on it is that it smokes like crazy when it was started. Now this is going to go into my video, it's going to be two videos, this is just going to be the repair of this video and it's also going to be strange things I find with small machines, I'm making up a collection. So let's just have a look here. The, the complaint was this one really, really smokes. It's actually in better condition than it looks. This is uh, just accumulated oil. So this is going to clean up really nice, this lawnmower. But let's just look inside here. That looks like transmission fluid to me. It does start, so and it, the blade goes around and around and all that stuff. I did do a small wheel alignment just before I turned on the camera. This tire was up about a half an inch compared to this one. So let's uh, just drain the oil and see what we've got. And uh, we'll put you over here and continue on. So there we go, I've got my uh, little stick supporting the lawnmower. I have to be careful because it's kind of precarious, but it really saves my back. Okay, tubes, I've just removed the bolt plug from underneath the lawnmower that holds the oil in. Call it a bolt plug, you can call it an engine plug or whatever. So right underneath there is where the oil is going to come out. I'm going to use this little, little pan or dish. Normally I use a big oil change pan, but I'm not taking the blade off just yet until I get this engine running well. So I'll just uh, put you over here. Well, I wonder if I can... Eh. Do I have a problem making decisions? Well, yes and no. So anyway, I'm just going to tilt this lawnmower over and drain the oil into that cup and we're going to have a look at the oil. What do you think that is, tubes? It looks like transmission fluid mixed with motor oil, but is there a possibility that it's royal purple or something like that? I, can't, I really can't see somebody putting royal purple into a lawnmower, but then again I can't see somebody putting transmission fluid into a lawnmower. One minute. Sorry about that, I'm just having fun. So this is transmission fluid, new transmission fluid. It looks kind of the same. Uncontaminated transmission fluid, so we'll make sure that doesn't get wrecked. So whatever it is, I don't think it belongs in a lawnmower. So this is going to go into my uh, strange things I find. Over and out. We're going to put some oil into this mower and see if it runs. Okay tubes, let's see how she goes. I just put some used oil in there. Because every three dollars you spend is three dollars you spend. And if it uh, runs good, I'll do an oil change on it. Interesting. So now I'm just going to uh, let it run for five minutes, change the oil in it, uh, change the gas in the gas tank, and give it a tune-up, sharpen the blade, and all that stuff that goes with uh, doing a lawnmower. And okay, there's the mower out there. The first thing I do is I get the broccoli out from underneath. That's about the average amount. Sorry for the shakies. Gotta stop saying that. There we go. And now I'm going to... Uh, 
scrub it a little bit more and air hose the, the whole mower down. That'll help make, make it easier to clean. Okay, tubes. So this is what you call making a silk purse out of a sow's ear. Looks a lot better, doesn't it? I'm really happy with how it turned out. Since I saw you last, I, uh, I don't know if I had changed the oil, but it's got brand new oil in it. I flushed the gas tank. There. I uh, just checked the carburetor bowl. I took the carburetor bowl off and it was whistle clean inside there. So this uh, old mower hasn't got very many hours on it. I cleaned the spark plug and of course I uh, wiped it down. And uh, that's about it. So now we're going to see how she runs. I think it looks pretty darn good. Give her some primes here. One, two, three. The carburetor was totally emptied, so I'm going to prime it a little bit. Oops. Let's see if she goes. Well, it didn't start that easy, but I did have the carburetor completely emptied out. So now I am just going to uh, check it in a few hours and make sure it starts again. You saw it first here on VTH V1 TV.